हेलो बच्चों सो दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ऑल्दो आई वांट टू डू अ क्लैरिफिकेशन इन द लास्ट वीडियो द क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैड गिवन फॉर द होमवर्क बाय मिस्टेक देयर वाज अ टाइपिंग एरर एंड दिस क्वेश्चन हैड बीन कन्वर्टेड टू 24 बाय 5 बट दैट वाज जस्ट अ टाइपो प्लीज इग्नोर दैट हियर इफ यू विल पुट 24 बाय 5 इट इज सॉल्वेबल बट नॉट बाय नॉर्मल मेथड्स रादर यू विल हैव टू यूज कंप्यूटर और वेबसाइट और कैलकुलेटर्स फॉर सॉल्विंग दैट क्वेश्चन सो दैट्स व्हाट दैट वाज नॉट द क्वेश्चन The original question is one by three raised to power x equals to x plus four. Now here we have to find the value of uh, x. Now again, this question uh, is a uh, again a very simple question yet beautiful. Although this question here also you are able to see that this is one of the term is exponential, another is an algebraic term. So both the terms we are not able to solve these type of questions using normal mathematical method. So what we'll have to do? We'll have to go by graphical method. So first of all, we have got a <coughs> we have got a situation y equals to one upon three raised to power x, and we have got a graph y is equals to x plus four. So we will draw the graph for both the equations. Now let me tell you here it is an exponential graph of the format a raised to power x, but here the a is a value lesser than one, a less than one. So whenever you have a a less than one, in that scenario what happens? The graph, the graph that you make, so Normal graph for a raised to power x is like this, but if you have a a where a is less than one, so this is a condition for a greater than one. If you have a a less than one, then this graph becomes like this. And those people who do not know how to make graphs or how am I getting this value, you don't need to worry about. So you just need to do x and y, make a table, put different values like minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. Put some random five values. For all such value putting here, if you put minus two, so one by three raised to power minus two will give you a value of nine. If you put minus one, this will give you a value of three. If you put zero, it will give you a value one. If you put one, it will give you one by three, and then two one by nine. So using this coordinate, if you will plot, you will get a graph like this, like this. Okay. So this is a graph for y equals to one by three raised to power x, and then you have one more graph that is x is uh, y equals to x plus four. Now that y equals to x plus four is going to be a simple line like this. This line is going to intersect uh, y axis at zero comma four and x axis at minus four comma zero. Now from this graph, this is very much evident that this both the graphs are being intersected at only one and one only one point, and that one point is going to be the answer. And from this graph intersection, I am even able to find it out that that value of x is going to be a negative value. Here only you are going to get some answer. So now what is going to be the, uh, to be that uh, negative value? So we'll do hit and trial. That's the only option that we have got here. So we have got x is equals to minus one in the negative one. We can do minus two and so on. So let's check for minus one first. You can write one by three raised to power minus one. And here we have x plus four. So we can write here minus one plus four. So am I getting it equal? I guess yes. We have got it. So one by three raised to power minus one is three basically, and then four minus one is also three. So yes, we have got the answer for x equals to one, and that's the solution for this question. X is equals to minus one. I hope all of you understood. Now here, if there would have been any other number, like instead of one by three, you you could have put twenty four by five or anything else. In that situation, still you would get some answer because that is also a number. You will get some answer. But the thing is this. That what will be that answer that we won't be able to find using normal calculation. We'll have to use calculators or computers or uh, mathematical applications, something of that sort. And hence, those type of questions we generally don't solve using our own mathematical skills. That would we don't do. Although the solutions are possible. So you can use a website called Desmos. The Desmos will give you that solution if you put 24 by 5 or any other number for that matter. So this is the solution for uh, this particular question. X equals to minus one. I hope you liked and uh, enjoyed the video. If that is the case, please do like the video and share this with your friends also. If you want to see more such videos, the link is in the description box where you will get a playlist of all such videos and you can just see them and enrich your knowledge. And for more such videos, just subscribe to the channel. We will give you a lot of more beautiful content, awesome content at a good time. So see you all in the next session. Till then, take care and. After this video, I am going to give you one more question for your homework. So here we go. So guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge 
which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what you have to do, you have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that, sir, I'm not able to solve it. Kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box, your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you.